With the recent release of Google's Data Analytics Certificate, a lot of my subscribers have been upset with Google's choice of teaching R over Python. And I mean a lot. So I was recently watching a podcast featuring Al Bellamy, who's built up quite a bit of following on LinkedIn. And he was talking about his thoughts on why Python fans are pushing for this. They need you to believe that Python is better. Like it's, it's not enough that they like it more. It's offensive to them that anybody doesn't think that. So when I heard this, I was curious. Was Al talking about me? Am I a Python fanboy? Soon thereafter, Al posted this on LinkedIn in fact, confirming that I was a Python fanboy. Because of this, it really got me thinking about how I could form an unbiased opinion on this topic. So like any data nerd would do, I set out to collect data, perform some analysis, and then answer the question, do data analysts really need to learn Python? What up data nerds? I'm Luke, a data analyst, and my channel's all about tech and skills for data science. And in this video today, we're going to be diving into this topic further of understanding the importance of Python. Specifically, I've been scraping data analyst job data from LinkedIn for the past month using Python, of course. So through this data collection, I was able to go through and better understand how important Python is, specifically when compared to other skills such as R, Excel, SQL, and Viz tools like Tableau and Power BI. And the results and conclusions that I found that I'm going to share with you today I found were really surprising, and spoiler alert, Python isn't the most in-demand tool. All right, so let's dive in. Unless you've been living under a rock recently, Python is one of the most popular languages on the planet right now, and for good reason. It's a multi-purpose programming language that's used in a variety of different applications, such as web and internet development, software development, game development, and even internet of things. But for us data nerds, we don't really care about those use cases of Python. Instead, we care about how they're used for our jobs. Thus, for our relevant use case of scientific and numeric computing, we can use it for data analysis, data visualization, text analysis, machine learning, web scraping, and the list goes on. Let's actually see a use case of how I use Python to collect, analyze, and interpret the data to perform my own analysis on if Python is important to learn for a data analyst. All right, so for the best place to start for this, I felt actually that going to job postings themselves are the best place to look and understand what skills are required for an entry-level data analyst. Problem is though, there are thousands of job postings on LinkedIn for data analysts. So what am I supposed to do? Go through and copy and paste this? So I seem to recall something. As far as I can tell, Python's better for web scraping. So I built a Python script that logs on to LinkedIn, goes in, searches for data analyst jobs, scrapes all the data associated with those jobs, and then adds these to a CSV. This script runs daily, and so I'm constantly updating what jobs I have in my database. Now that I have all this data that I collected over the month, I once again can use Python to go in and analyze it. Specifically, I can use things like pandas to go in and further compile and analyze the data. I can then move into visualizing my results. So I've been using things like matplotlib and wordcloud to actually perform the data visualization. All right, so now let's get into understanding what my analysis looks like comparing Python to R. If you don't know what R is, R is a programming language as well. And specifically, like Python's a multi-purpose programming language, R was specifically designed for statistical analysis. R can do a lot of the things that I just demonstrated here. It can go in and do data collection, data exploration, data modeling, and then also even data visualization. So if Python and R are no different in their core functionality for data analyst, what are employers asking for? Are they asking for Python or are they asking for R? So with my LinkedIn data, I went through and analyzed how frequently terms such as Python or R appeared in the job description. Unsurprising to me, I found that Python is found more frequently in job postings than R. Specifically, the skill is requested almost two times more than R. So wait, all things being equal, if Python and R are similar for a data analyst to use, but Python is almost twice as much as requested, why did the Google Data Analytics Certificate go with R over Python? So I investigated this as well, and it turns out for good reasons. First, although Google agrees that both Python and R are great for data analysts to learn, 
they think that R is better starting point for foundational data analysis. Next, although they cite Python's popularity, they feel that R is actually an easier language to grasp and learn. And then finally, probably the most important point, they feel that R provides a greater perspective in understanding how programming languages play in data analytics. And they even shared this. Plus, you can apply these skills to other programming languages, like Python, Julia, or JavaScript. And frankly, I agree with the facts that Google is providing right here. I myself started my data science journey learning R first, and then from there, once I understood that R was barbaric, I then switched over to learning and utilizing Python. So when would I learn Python? Well, I'll touch on that more at the end of this video because there's actually a bigger problem that we need to look at when analyzing the data further. Everybody has been so wrapped up in this Python versus R debate that they failed to realize that there's actually more important tools that a data analyst needs to learn and master before they even need to consider things like Python and R. When we go back to the data scraped, I find that there are three general tools that data analysts need to look at and potentially learn first before even getting into Python. First up is Excel. In almost half of all job postings, Excel is mentioned as a key skill needed for entry-level data analysts. When compared to Python and R, this is definitely a skill that I would recommend learning and mastering first. So why is Excel so popular and requested by employers? First, Excel is more widely used. 800 million people use Excel, whereas only about 8 million people use Python. Secondly, working as a data analyst, I've found that other people that I interact with, including non-data analysts, know how to use Excel when they probably don't know how to use a programming language such as Python or R. Because of this, it's much easier to collaborate and share your work with others when it's in a tool that other people know. Now, Excel has plenty of downfalls that I'm not gonna go into this video. You can check out this video if you wanna learn my thoughts on Excel. But it is a tool that's gonna to help you with collaboration and thus sharing your insights with other. And so I think it's a tool that you need to master and learn. All right, next up is SQL. And although slightly less popular than Excel, it's still appearing in almost half of all job postings for data analysts. SQL is the language used to communicate with a database. And a database is how companies are storing their data. For an example, an Excel file can hold about 1 million rows of data, whereas a single table of a database can hold hundreds of millions to billions of rows of data. Why make trillions when we could make billions? So why is SQL so popular? Well, companies small to large need a place to actually store their data and databases provide this infrastructure for that. These companies then need to interact with this data and SQL provides a method to do that. So therefore, it's an imperative skill that a data analyst know how to use SQL in order to interact with this large amount of data. So once again, if I had to choose between Python and R or SQL, I'm going to go with that SQL first and then move on to advancing my Python skills. Okay, last up is visualization softwares. And the two most popular options right now are Tableau and Power BI. These programs allow you to connect to your data sources and then use a drag and drop style editor in order to build these different visualizations that you can thus share with your different stakeholders. I've built dashboards in both Tableau and Power BI, and I've used it to share my insights with my team and then allow them to go in and play around with the data further to understand and gain their own insights. So how do visualization softwares compare to Python and R? Overall, it's mostly a toss up. They've, they're about equal in how often they're requested compared to Python and R. In my experience, I've usually seen an entry level data analyst either know a programming language or a visualization tool. And then as they build their knowledge, they usually try to learn both of these. So my recommendation is this. After you've gone through and mastered Excel and also SQL, then from there, to find out what your interest is and either then dive into programming languages or visualization tools. Okay, so let's move into my recommendations for if and when and how you should learn Python. So let's start with the first case. Let's say you're brand new to this field of data analytics and you're trying to determine if you need to learn Python. I think your time is better spent 
learning other skills first before Python. So things like Excel, SQL, and possibly visualization tools. For this type of person, I highly recommend the Google Data Analytics Certificate from Coursera, which I have a video above describing an overview of the course. But this course will provide you with everything you need to know to get started in data analytics. Although the course does teach R over Python, I still think it's a great starting point and it's great for you to begin your journey in data analytics. All right, so now let's look at the next use case. Let's say you have some familiarity with Excel, SQL, some viz tools, and maybe some programming languages. At this point, should you dive into learning Python? Well, I think you need to answer a key question. Do you have a portfolio to showcase these skills that you know? As I detail in this video above, skills alone are not going to get you a job. Instead, you need to be able to demonstrate and show your worth through a portfolio. I think it's much more important to showcase these skills that you currently have, vice diving into learning a new programming language. All right, so let's look at the final case. Let's say you have some familiarity and you've built up your knowledge with these different tools of SQL, Excel, and maybe some Viz tools. At this point, yes, I would dive into learning Python for your job. The first resource is what I utilized, which was DataCamp. DataCamp actually has an intro to Python course that is completely free, and it provides you with the basics of understanding Python. I personally follow DataCamp's skill track of Python for Data Analyst, and it taught me all the skills that I needed, and I demonstrated them today and how I actually went through and collected that data and analyzed it from LinkedIn. If you're more of a Coursera fan, I highly recommend checking out the Python for Everybody course in Coursera. This is also a great resource for understanding the basics and getting up and running with Python really quickly. Bam, so that's my recommendation for whether or not you should learn Python. As a data analyst, I can say that early on in my career, I didn't really use Python as much, but as I've advanced and moved on in the years, I can say that I use Python much more frequently. Because of this, I personally feel that learning a programming language such as Python is key to further developing yourself as a data analyst and standing out in this field. And finally, for those that are looking to transition potentially to other roles to maybe increase their salary or responsibility, such as roles as data scientist or data engineer, Python provides that pathway for you to learn the skill and therefore transition more easily into these different roles. Also real quick, if you're looking for content resources on data analytics, I highly recommend that you follow Al Bellamy on LinkedIn. When he's not posting content that's crushing my dreams of using Python, he's actually posting a lot of really insightful content for those that are working in data analytics. As always, if you got value out of this video, smash that like button. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. You ever hear the old joke that, um, you know, an atheist, a vegan and a CrossFitter walked into a bar and I knew because within 30 seconds, they told everyone there. I mean, yeah. a, a Python user is akin to those atheist, vegan, crossfitters, Python users. Like they need you to know that they're right.